Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a trailblazing comedian and an Academy Award nominee, but he never takes himself too seriously. Please welcome down to the circle, Samson McCormick. Yay! I welcome, try to, welcome, I try to welcome. Be as fine as hey, Sam's hey. <laughs> Have you seen Purple Marks Your Spot? Thank you. Yes. Oh my God. It's so good to be here. And it's, Atlanta is one of my favorite cities. It really? Be. Yeah, it's it's the land of the diva. Because yes. I came to the airport. I mean, at the airport, you see it. Oh, that'd be so, sharp. Oh, yeah, the weaves and the lace fronts and the high heels. <laughs> you tried it. And the, and the makeup and stuff. And that's just the fellas. Yes. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the <girl said> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you um, you are the first openly gay comedian. Well, not the first, but okay. I, I was definitely one of the first uh, uh, black gay ones. Too. Okay, okay. And uh, and 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 thank y'all for for giving me the space to come on because a lot of you know different shows and things don't give uh, a platform to LGBT artists. Well, mm -hmm. thank you for living your truth mm -hmm. and being your best best self. Mm -hmm. And we accept, mm -hmm. we love that down to the circle. Thank you. And speaking of acceptance, do you feel that? Um, there's more acceptance in comedy with the LGBTQ community? Um, as long as Fuck You Deneva is not doing it. Right. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just... Oh, I'm my God. Uh, no, I'm just... I'm teasing. Uh, no, the thing is this, is um, something happened uh, where internet comedy began being taken more seriously mm -hmm. than actual live stand-up mm -hmm. comedy. Oh. So on, on the internet, people see wigs and things like that. And I don't show up like that. I just show up as a regular dude, you know, regular Southern dude, and I talk about our issues. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I try to be relatable. I take pride in the fact that I can stand on the stage and make, you know, straight black dudes. Right. Mm -hmm. My straight brothers laugh. Right. right. And as, as a stand-up comedian, too, I also can yes. relate to that internet versus stand-up on the stage. There is definitely a difference. How have you been able to fight through that, though? Mm -hmm. Just showing up and being hilarious, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. and just and sticking to it. I mean, we come from such a fabric, and black people, we're funny as I don't yes, know what. We are. I mean, it's you go down to the cookout or the church or whatever, just anyway, and, and make laugh, right? Yeah, we. I mean, if you look at the things that we've come from and we've made humor out of, mm -hmm. is is beautiful, and, mm -hmm. and that's the fabric that we're mm -hmm. cut from. You're known for doing material about growing up gay in the South. Yes. How did your family re re react to that? Well, it wasn't the family; it was the church. Come on now. Okay, because the thing. Now, uh, the, the black church needs to get over the issue of sexuality because, you know, they used to tell me all the time, we don't want homosexuals in the church. And I'm but like, they're there. Yeah, I'm like, so if you kick all the gay people out of the church, who's going to sing in the choir? Who's going to sing in the choir? Okay. 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 And, and write the music. And, and write everything. the music. And I mean, it's, preach the sermon. Preach the sermon. <laughs> you know, it's we're there. You right. know, we've always been a part of the community since we got here off the boat. We've been right. a part of the community. Mm -hmm. We need to get over that. Now, let mm -hmm. me ask you something. Have you ever been, have you ever found yourself in a bit of a kerfuffle mm -hmm. <laughs> or a pickle? <laughs> yes, I Based did. Based on your uh, material. Yeah, um, like again, the church is always, and I mean, we need to get over it. Jesus loves everybody. Yes, he I does. don't care, you know, like Jesus sees some of these folks in the dark. At least I do what I do in the light. Hello, Hello somebody. Uh, and, and the light hits me bright. Hello. Um, and so it's that, and I did a show recently, and the Ku Klux Klan came out to my show. Ooh, they came really? out to, right. I didn't even know they to liked say comedy. What? No, they, they came out and. Uh, they, they were just, they, I mean, now we live in the age of Trump. So, right. you know, like, people are coming out, and uh, I was in Traverse City, Michigan, and they came out, and they just, they didn't want to see uh, the F word, you mm -hmm. know, F-A-G word, and they didn't want to see uh, a black person up there. It was too much for them. Did they introduce themselves and say, I'm the Ku Klux Klan? How did you know? <laughs> yeah, like, that show up and she had some? <laughs> well, they don't, they don't wear the outfits anymore. They show up dressed like they work at the Apple store now. Oh, you know, police so it's, officer outfits. Yeah, police officer Come on outfits, now. all Hello. that type of stuff. And um, they came and they had like a Confederate flag. They had signage oh, and everything. Wow. And um, so security, she comes back, because I was definitely one of the only black people in the town. Okay. Me and my shadow. And she came <laughs> back there. And she said, uh, you know, we got a bit of a pickle. Uh -huh. So, you know, I'm yes, like, what's situation. going on? Right. And she said, you got, got protesters. I've had protesters before. Yeah. Of course. You haven't had protesters until you've had black Baptists throwing oil on you after a show. Come on now. Okay, oh, so I was like, let whoever it is in. She said, it's the Klan. And I'm like confused because it is 20, it was 2017. And I was like, you mean like the Wu-Tang Clan? You know, I was, <laughs> okay. Like I had, I, I was, right, right. you know. And she was like, no, this is the Ku Klux Klan. And the audience is going bananas. Ah. And I said, this is a time because if there's one thing that I've learned being a black gay man, it's how to show other people love 
when they don't deserve it because I haven't gotten it when I do deserve Come it. Come on, man. So, That's how you teach them. That's absolutely. how you teach them. So I went out there and I had to calm them down. Right. And they ended up staying for the show. Of course they did because you're funny. Mm -hmm. Let me say this. Congratulations on your Oscar nomination. Um, you were in a movie called I Live Here. Yes. Um, so tell us a little bit about the film real quickly. And also, do you have more film projects coming? Yes, yes. Um, and, and I'm always going to do stand-up, but I've been doing stand-up almost 20 years. Okay. So it's sometimes you just got to shift gears and start doing something else. Mm -hmm. But I'm always, I mean, it's its here, you know, mm -hmm. it's its there. Um, so I Live Here was directed by um, Shane Watson, and it's an independent film. It was uh, nominated in the domestic narrative category mm -hmm. uh, last year. And so when he called and said it, I was like, what? You know, and, and we partied pretty hard. Nice. Um, yeah, and, and I have uh, another film that will be out this summer. Um, that deals with just issues with parents and, and family. Oh, okay. Nice. Yes. Tell us about your experience with Robin Williams coming to your show. Yes, so I did a show uh, about a year before he passed away, and he came uh, he came wow. backstage to the show, and you know he was like, "I want to watch," and I'm not going to tell him no. Right. And it was it was it was huge, and you know, so when I found out he passed, it was a bit of a shock because I can he was an amazing. Dude. Yes, he was. Well, yeah. Samson, we are so honored that you came down here, and so blessed and privileged to have you here down to the circle, come and you are, are welcome to come at any time. And uh, for more information on Samson, follow us at Sister Circle TV on all social networks.